Hi, and welcome to the MyWifeQuitHerJob.com YouTube channel. Today, what I'm going to talk about is how to set up your own online store with absolutely no technical experience or know-how whatsoever. You don't need to know how to use a computer. All you need to know is how to surf the web. Okay, so I first wanted to start out by just talking a little bit about what this tutorial is all about. Uh, mainly, this tutorial covers how to create and host your own online e-commerce store from complete scratch without needing to know anything about computers, without needing to hire a developer, nothing. Um, what I'm going to teach you today will make you self-sufficient and you will own your own website and you will also have a very feature-rich shopping cart with which to sell your goods and the shopping cart itself is going to be absolutely free and all you have to pay for is the hosting which is very inexpensive okay so I thought I'd just talk a little bit about my motivations for creating this video uh, I run a blog mywifequitherjob.com uh, where I talk about our experiences with creating our own online store now I've been running the blog for quite a while now and many of my readers I found out currently sell in various marketplaces such as Amazon, such as Etsy, and eBay. Now, these three places are actually a great way to make money online, but there's also many drawbacks with selling there as well. And the first thing that comes to mind is that you are at the complete mercy of the marketplace. Uh, so just to give you an example, I used to sell on eBay all the time, and I witnessed over the years that they kept changing their policies and they kept jacking up their fees year after year to the point where you know my wife and I couldn't really make a profit on eBay anymore and still make a good living and you know the second disadvantages of using these marketplaces is that there's often high fees associated with selling on these platforms and to use eBay as an example again uh, right now if you sell on eBay if you count the PayPal fees that are incurred oftentimes eBay and PayPal together will often lop off about 12 to 15 percent of your profit right off the bat and if you consider that the average business in the United States only makes a profit about 20 to 25 percent taking a 15 percent cut out of that right off the bat is huge it makes it much harder for you to make money online and it makes it much harder for you to make a living with your online store okay and you know the main thing, the main impetus for having your own site is you want to be in control of your own destiny. You don't want to be at the mercy of these other platforms changing their policies. Just to give you an example also, when you shop on a uh, marketplace such as Etsy, all the listings tend to look the same and you end up competing with a whole bunch of people because people come to the marketplace looking for a specific good and they also find hundreds and hundreds of merchants selling the exact same thing. By having your own website, uh, you can make it look unique. You can put forth your uh, unique selling proposition very clearly. And you can also establish a brand much better once you have your own website. And so what I often advise my students with these Amazon, Etsy, and eBay stores, it's not just quit these platforms altogether. Uh, you want to maintain these platforms while gradually transitioning away to your own website, uh, to a web property that you actually have full control over in hopes of not having to pay the fees and in hopes of not having to be at the mercy of the platform that you're actually selling on. And that's the main goal. Okay, so now all of this sounds all fine and good, but what I found from running the blog is that most people never ultimately choose to go this route uh, because of the following fears and misconceptions. Uh, the first fear is that people often think that owning their own store is really expensive. Um, people also find that the whole process of creating a website and an online shopping cart very daunting. Um, people often have no clue how to set up a shopping cart or a website and oftentimes people think that they have to hire a very expensive developer just to get started online and what I'm hoping to show you today is that all of this is not true you can set up a feature rich open source shopping cart for just the cost of hosting so in other words the website design and everything is completely free and today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step 
tutorial on how to set up your shopping cart from scratch and you don't need to you don't need to know a thing all you need to know is how to surf the web use the mouse and enter in your payment information that's all you're going to need to know how to do okay so with that in mind let's go ahead and get started um, what you're looking at right now is my blog which is located at www.mywifequitherjob.com okay now if you scroll down you'll see these four uh, four banners here and what I want you to do is I want you to click on this Bluehost banner okay and so uh, what we're signing up for right now is actually the web host uh, what a web host is, is they own the computers that are going to actually run your website. Now, Bluehost is the one that I ran my online store on for two years, and it's the one that I highly recommend. So what I'm going to just go ahead and do now is click Sign Up Now. Okay, and here right now it's going to ask me for a domain name. Now, hopefully you already at this point know kind of what you want to sell, and you have an idea of what you want your store name to be. So just for this example, I'm going to use the domain name uh, fast easy online store .com. Okay, and when you click the next button it's gonna go ahead and check to see if that domain is actually available okay so as you can see here fast easy online store .com is available and I'm now ready to just enter in my information to complete the purchase so that's what I'm gonna do here Okay, and so once we get down here, you're going to want to uncheck these three things because they're not really necessary. And I'm just going to sign up for a year here. And I'm going to go ahead and enter in my credit card information. Then I'm going to click on the next button. Okay, so at this point, I've completed the transaction. And it's trying to upsell you here, but you don't want to really sign up for anything else. And you want to just click on the complete button. Okay, so at this point, um, they're going to, you, you get an email sent to the email account that you signed up with and you're going to want to create your password so I'm just going to do that real quick okay now I'm going to hit on the click on the submit button and that's it my domain is fasteasyonlinestore.com and now I'm going to enter in the password that I used So now, now I'm logged in uh, to what is called the control panel for my website. Okay. Now, uh, once I've established this account, all I have to do now at this point is install the shopping cart. Okay. So basically, you want to scroll down and you want to look for something called Simple Scripts and click on it. And the shopping cart that we are going to install is called Open Cart. Now, there's a whole bunch of these shopping carts for you to choose from, but Open Cart, uh, in my experience, is one of the best ones on here. And that's why I'm going to use this as an example. So I'm just going to click on Open Cart here. And I'm going to click on Install. And I'm just going to have it install in the root directory here, which is under fasteasyonlinestore.com and I'm going to click that I've read the terms and conditions and I'm just going to type in click on the complete button and it's installing it right now okay so at this point it's installed the shopping cart and it's provided a username and password here 
Okay, so now I'm just going to open a new window and I'm going to type in the domain name that I registered, fasteasyonlinestore.com. And lo and behold, the shopping cart has been completely installed at the click of a button. And as you can see, you can surf around. Uh, it's been populated with a bunch of demonstration products. And you'll see that you'll, you're, you'll be able to add certain products to the cart. Uh, you can check out. You can play around with it a little bit. But the other thing I want to show you is the admin panel. Okay, So it's just to get to the admin panel for your online store, it's just a domain that you registered, slash admin. And if you go back to this uh, screen here, they provide you with a username and password. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter that stuff in. I'm just going to cut and paste it in. And then I'm going to log in. Okay, and here is the back end for the online store. And um, you'll probably want to play around with this a little bit, but you're able to add products, uh, adjust the prices, add different product categories, and that sort of thing. And really, what you'll discover is that OpenCart is really, really feature rich. And what I've shown you today is that you can install this with absolutely no technical knowledge whatsoever. All you need to do is know how to click and use the mouse, and you need to know how to surf the web, and that's all there is to it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do once you've gotten to this uh, admin page is you're going to just want to change the password to something that you can remember. Okay, so you're going to want to go under System, User Groups, and then Edit the Admin. And at this point, you just want to enter in a password that you're going to remember. And that's all there is to it. So the remaining steps, which I will cover in a subsequent video, is how to install and process credit cards online. And the next step is how to install an SSL certificate in order to make the transactions on your online store completely secure. And uh, that's all there is for this first video.